Well, day one of competition in the Masters Arena today has been great. Some of the old legends of race, the former Ironman champions and ski champions and beach sprint champions, swimmers mixing it up with people who have just joined Masters, racing with champions of yesteryear. Well, the surf, it's been tricky all day. From low tide to high tide, the wind came up really early in the morning and it did affect some results. But overall, Masters competition is still strong and still hot. So it's been really, really good racing individual Masters races today. And what an exciting day we've had and we've got to catch up with some of the legends of the day. Well, joining us now is Nart Marshall, Victoria's finest competitor, <laughs> male and female, over many years. He competed in the Masters today, three golds. Iron men, Iron women, and you competed when you had your event, you had to compete with the girls 10 years younger. And I hear that Crystal Smith, when you debuted, she debuted. Yes. So maybe 14 and 24, I'm hearing, but uh, yeah. by looking how fit you are, I don't think that could be true, 10 years <laughs> difference. But you got to race her again today, and how was that? Yeah, it was good. So, yeah, you're quite right. Back when I first made um, Uncle Toby's, my debut was when I was 24, so I was pretty old. And uh, Crystal started the same year, and she was 14. So um, we were just laughing today because they put us together, the 30s and the 40s, I'm 44, um, and they put us together and I haven't raced her for a while, it's been 13 years since I've um, been in the series or you know, competing seriously. So it was kind of nice to, to get back up there and there was a few others, Leave Relics and um, Penny Turner and a few others that were all racing together 20 so years ago, which I think you guys have in Masters, like I, I know it's pretty social up here for all the, all, for all the men who uh, grew up racing against each other. Yeah, it is, but the, the only thing I think you find with the racing is the speed's the only thing that's changed. The attack, the aggression, the wanting to beat one another, the running past each other, the aggression, the cans, that doesn't change in male or female, does it? Oh, no, I cut, I cut uh, Crystal off at the cans. Don't worry, I cut, went on the inside through, around <laughs> in the board happily, went, went past her and cut her off a little bit. Um, but then, then she passed me in a ski, so <laughs> it's, all, it's all fun and love and war, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. So the Masters have brought you back for a reason. You, yes. Your daughter's joined Life Saving yes. and that's the reason for you to come back. Like there's many reasons why people come back and get involved in Life Saving and Masters, but for you yeah. it was to teach your daughter about Surf Life Saving? Yeah, look, I mean, I never actually went anywhere. I just haven't. I did Masters two years ago and 10 years ago. So I haven't been coming up to Aussies that often. We, we have state masters and that's our only competition in Victoria so I normally do that um, and I'll do the ocean swims and I'm certainly involved in the surf club um, but now I have um, kids who are doing nippers and so it's just kind of shifted things from it being about me um, and I, I brought her up though she's nowhere to be seen. She's gone back to the hotel pool. Um, yeah, to just show her that it's how, how big it is and how uh, what a big movement it is and um, and that she should be really proud of, of being um, a nipper and in surf life saving because it's um, you know it's incredible coming up here. We we went and saw the youth um, competition yesterday, and it, there's so many. They're so good, and I, I want her to be motivated by that and proud of, of um, being involved. So you've been a staff of Victoria for a long time, as you've said, when you know in your 20s and now you're in your 40s. Do you see that Victoria and Anglesey can build something from seeing these races up here? Is this something that can help the whole movement in Victoria grow bigger and better? Well, that's the plan. Look, um, Nippers in Victoria is really big, and then there is just a massive drop-off. I know it's a, a problem nationally as well, the, the drop-off, um, but it particularly is in Victoria, and even more so in the last um, five to ten years. Um, so there are some. There's been a big change in surf life, oh, life saving in Victoria, and that we amalgamated with life saving, uh, Royal Life Saving, and now all the bay clubs are actually really big. Um, so the so the permanent populations around Black Rock and Mordialic and Mentone are in Victoria are actually becoming really big and they're the, the stronger clubs rather than, I mean Ocean Grove's still big but probably at um, the expense of uh, clubs like Anglesey. Um, but um, you know there's ebbs and flows for every club and every state and I think there's just a there's a big push now and I, and I think we're definitely building and there are lots of youth competitors and still quite a few masters and things like that so um, I you know I'd like to think that that with We'll keep growing and um, you'll you know, see more Victorians up here competing well. 
And with your transitions were so fast, you've earned yourself a run in the beach relay for Anglesey, the beach, they were known to be a good beach club. Yeah. Now you get a start in the beach relay, how are you going to get across the sand? Yeah, really fast, very fast, <laughs> like lightning. Um, and my changeover, God, it's going to be <laughs> spectacular to watch. No, and we've got a, yeah, Anglesey has always had a, an amazing beach team. It's been R&R um, &R and, and the beaches are, um, you know, keeping holding things together and they, they have always been very very strong and Abby Lutus has pulled out a former Australian uh, beach team member and um, yeah unfortunately I'm the only one that's that's here and able to <laughs> step in for her so I'm just gonna have to they're putting me last I'll go as hard as I can basically <laughs> well a fantastic water person is now going to take her strengths <laughs> to the sand tomorrow in the team events at the Masters Nah Marshall will be on the beach doing her thing what a great championships. Thank I hope you. you can enjoy the rest of the yeah. championships with your daughter and you come back yeah. with her in a few years doing well at youth championships. Well done. I hope so. Thanks. Well, Phil McGiven coming into his 40th year of commentary, the voice of life saving, the competitors, the, uh, uh, the coaches and the parents who are on the beach, they need to hear what's happening behind the scenes, out the back, around the cans, who's leading. No one knows cap colours and athletes better than you, Phil. 40 years this year, mate. Great effort. Oh, thanks very much, Jimmy. It's, I've enjoyed it, really have. And I kept thinking to myself, 40 years, it's gone by so quickly, I don't worry about the numbers, right? So, I've always worried about quality, as you know, and I like to get the names right. So you must have started when you were about 10, Phil, by the way you're looking at the moment, mate. <laughs> I started in 1980, the same year that Grant Kenny won the Junior Ironman. And I spoke to him this morning, a short time ago, when he won the 55 to 59. I said it was 40 years, he said it can't be. <laughs> and the great thing about the calls that you do, mate, uh, you know, I've 30 years for me listening to your, your great voice, you're still as passionate. You still have a great love for our sport and the community at whole, and you don't leave anyone out. Uh, what gives you the passion still to just continue doing what you're doing so well? Something I love, I really do love. This will sound strange. I was a ski paddler. Would you believe? Oh, I was love a ski it, love it, love it. <laughs> I was, but only lasted a few years because I wasn't quick enough. So I went to official them. Then one day, somebody didn't turn up. The, the announcer didn't turn up. So the referee in Victoria said, go up and do it. And I said, no, I won't be any good. I wouldn't know anything about it. And here we go, 40 Australian championships later. I'm still doing it, still loving it. Done the last eight worlds. Love it all because it's, the, it's a family. It's a great family and we get a mixture of everybody from all the youth all the way up to the Masters. Yeah, that's exactly right. And look, athletes have to go training. What sort of training? Because you've got to know the cap colours, you've got to know the craft colours, because that all helps and, and what they, but you know so well what they can do and well they can do it. You're picking stuff before it happens. What sort of training are you doing or is it just years of experience? It's probably more years of experience. Early on, I really watch closely, but I do always, and as you know, I go to the New South Wales Championships, I do the Queensland Championships, so I can see what board or ski competitors are paddling on because people keep changing those colours, damn them. I wish they wouldn't sometimes, but they do, and that's why I need to go. And you pick up the younger ones coming through. You know, I don't see them for 12 months, and all of a sudden there's these new guys on the on the, uh, the ski course. And I've, I use Jackson as one, right? Jackson Collins, last year with North Bondi. All of a sudden, hey, hang on, what are you doing back in Queensland? Yeah, no good, we're not happy about that. <laughs> I'm sure you're not, <laughs> sure you're not, but that's what happens, and I've got to try and refocus on who's doing what now as to what they're doing last year and, and move on. And so a ski paddler, or a board paddler, they've got to have their paddles, their boards of course, you know, maybe a wetsuit if it's cold. What are the must-haves for the commentator on the beach? Well, as far as I'm concerned, you've got to have the binoculars is my number one thing, you've got to have a good eyesight and you've got to be able to flow. You've got to be able to flow your, your commentary. If you can flow your commentary, it makes it a lot easier and things then move into place one behind the other. And you do it all the way from the start, as you've said before. I like to pick everybody. I'd like to name, if I've got the 16 in the ski race, I want to name 16. And I've always tried to do that, because that's what I pride myself in, being able to name the 16 competitors in every final of a single ski. That's fantastic. So 40 years, you've seen it on the beach, heats to finals. Is there anything that really just, to you, you it was like you walked away from the championship and said, I called that? Well, I have, many a time. And I, I remember the year that Clint Robinson did a Stephen Bradbury. Clint was in seventh spot when they came in the big surf down here, just down the road a little bit. He was in seventh spot and the first six all came off 
and he walked, he came up the beach, he took first place, Stephen Bradbury, over again. And I thought to myself, how wonderful was that? That was the year after Bradbury won the gold medal in the, uh, in the speed, speed skating. Mate, if gold medals can be given out for the bloke on the beach, Phil, you are a gold medalist for this year again for the 40th year in a row. Your voice is outstanding, mate. The competitors, the parents and the athletes love what you do. Keep it up, mate, for another 40 years. Great work. Thanks very much, Jimmy. I really appreciate it. And being 40, as I said, it's not about the number. It's more about, to me, the quality of my calls. And if I can keep my calls going, that's what I want to keep on doing. Awesome work, Phil. Thanks, mate. 26 years ago on the famous Gold Coast Strip, Guy Andrews took out the open Ironman and 26 years forward, he takes it out again at the Gold Coast. <laughs> 45 to 49 Ironman champion, still got a big guy. Oh, mate, it was a tough race. We laughed earlier that it's really, uh, we, you know, we're going just as hard, we're just as intense, just, just as, um, you know, focused about racing, but just going slower. Yeah, I know it is. It is terrible for blokes who have done well like you to think, I'm getting slower. It's, it's a hard act to get, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. well, I did a race over in New Zealand recently, and it was, I said it's the worst I've ever gone, but it's the oldest I've ever been. So, you know, it's just progressively downhill. But, I, look, I enjoy it. I feel good. I actually felt good racing today, and, um, and uh, you know, it sounds funny, but, yeah, it's, we're still all competitive, and it's, it's, it's a real thrill. Yeah, and it is Masters, right? So it is more relaxed and it's all that, but it's still racing. And if you're a racer, you are at the highest level, you still want to give it to yourself out there. Oh, mate, there's plenty of guys that come to this. Yeah, it is. It's nice when you're lining up and you're just talking and the banter's a lot different than when we were younger and everyone's, you know, chatting on a, it's a much different level. But, you know, when we get in the water and race, it's, 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 it's a race. And a lot of guys put a lot of prep into these, these events. And, uh, you know, I really wanted to win... For me, I put a little bit of pressure on myself. There's a little legacy there from my Ironman career, and I, I came back last year to Perth and, and won this age group uh, there for the first time after being away from the sport for so long. And then, I, actually, every time I raise, I want to win, and uh, you put the pressure on yourself. So I had to had to really back that up today, and I knew there was some good competition. So you still get nervous? Yeah, yeah, I do. I um, I get I get nervous and. I'm coaching now at Talabudra and I tell the kids it's okay, you know, to be nervous, you know, work on that energy and, and utilise it. So I still get nervous now because, you know, for different reasons, how, is my preparation as good as it used to be? Um, am I going to be able to back up after just doing the ski and beating you? <laughs> <laughs> we, we'll let it that Got part. Lucky there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, yeah, definitely still get nervous. I mean, you, you don't, you don't want to, you want to put your best performance in. So you're coaching at Talabudra, you're doing a great job. You've had to start from scratch. So this sort of racing is important for you to do well so you can lead by example. Like you're a tough racer, we all know that. Anyone who's raced you, anyone who's watched you has know you're tough. But there's, it's a new era, you know, some of these kids you're coaching weren't even born when you're winning, yep. so they've got to go on hearsay, yep. but for them to see you still race as hard, that's got to help your coaching. Yeah, I had a, a new young kid just yesterday at the, at the Youth Nationals, he said, oh, God, did, did you do Ironman? You know, and I'm like, well, you know, th th these kids are a completely new generation, and it's good for me to get back in and race, like you say, like feel the nerves and the little things that, you know, so I'm a bit more in touch with my coaching. I get in and out sometimes with the kids at training. I train with the masters guys, but uh, you know it's good to to feel those feelings and and get back in the routine so I can pass on that knowledge. It's been a long time since I competed at this level, so it's nice to sharpen up the skills and refresh your, your mind so you can pass those learnings on to the kids. You know? Yeah, so it's been a while since you competed in surf life saving, but you're an awesome athlete outside of life saving. You coast to coast, New Zealand, 17 hour races, 14 hour races. Did you get smarter or, or <laughs> lose a few marbles since competing? Have you still got a little bit of water between there stuck there to do those races? It's interesting. Like I like all the real long stuff, and but coming back to the short stuff is obviously a different energy systems, and you you got the high heart rate, and, the, and the, you know you got to get the skill part right. And this is like my my old you know like my old home ground. I, I can I can pick that up pretty quickly, but. Um, it's it's not any easier physically. Like it's still tough. There's multiple races. Even in our heats of the skis in the 45, 49, we had a heat, a semi, and a final. So like it, it just reminds me, you know, when you're preparing the younger athletes, they've got to get used to spending a whole weekend, a few days on the beach, back up all the time. So it becomes a bit of an endurance event. So 
you know, yeah, cross cross New Zealand race took me 13 and a half hours, but I think I'm more tired after today, to be honest. And what can we expect from Talabadra? You know, tomorrow we've got team of ace in the Masters, which I'm sure you've got lots of, but what can we expect during the week when open competition starts from Talabadra? It's two, two, three years now you've been there. What can we start to expect from these guys? Well, it's two seasons. I've got some young kids that have come through. We just did the youth nationals, and we've got some talented runners, actually, in my group. I've been focusing on, you know, with my triathlon background, some of the 2K guys. We got a third at nationals. We won state uh, and third at state in the under 17s. Those two boys were first and third outright as well. So I'm expecting big things from them in the running. Uh, we're still developing in the water in our 17 guys, but uh, it's a tough, it's a tough environment. Um, you know, our club's a very traditional um, club and and we, we want to grow our talent from inside the club and hopefully those guys will develop and then we'll start attracting some other people and they can consider coming and co being coached by me and we've got great facilities there. It's amazing with the creek and the pool next door. So, yeah, there's every reason to come and join uh, Tally and join that training program. So hopefully in the next few years we'll really start to see those caps popping up. How lucky a Talabudra Surf Club. Not only an awesome competitor in his own right, he's passionate about his coaching. Talabudra Surf Club is on the way up. Guy Andrews, 26 years after winning the Open Ironman, takes out the Ironman again. Good, good luck tomorrow in the team events and good luck to Tally all week. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Good to see you out there.